Hi YouTube, I have a Kawasaki Vulcan 1700 motorcycle which currently features passenger floorboards as well as driver side floorboards. However, my wife often suffer, suffers from some knee pain. So um, I'm going to replace the Kawasaki branded passenger floorboards with uh, the Kuryakin uh, Mini Premium floorboard using a, uh, the, the splined or spleened adapter and just one extra little part from the hardware store so that I can still use the existing uh, bracket mount uh, on the passenger floorboards. So the end result will look like this. So you can see the premium side passenger floorboard which does have the spring clips in there so that it has the tension to, to hold in place if I flip those up. Alright, so I'll get started. So I'll start by removing the existing passenger floorboards by grabbing the cutter pin there, taking that out, removing the pin, and then our existing passenger floorboard comes right off. On the spined adapter, I'm using the short little set screw. This allows me to set the angle of the floorboard when it's folded down for passenger use. One of the reasons I'm replacing my Kawasaki floorboards is that over time they have tilted down, which has contributed to my wife's knee pain since the angle isn't ideal. Just be sure to put the hex head end of the set screw into the adapter mount so that it can be accessed through the hole in the spline face as I've done here in this video. It'll take a little testing to determine how much of the set screw still protrudes so that the angle of the floorboard is at your desired placement. I'm also removing the factory installed rubber strip with some pliers as it's no longer needed. This is a good time to test if you need to change the set screw depth. So I'm just quickly putting the adapter into place with the original floorboard pin to see if I like the angle or not. Next, I'm going to install the one and a half inch spacer I bought from Lowe's. This is the only moderately tricky part of the whole installation. I found that having two of the D-shaped spring washers, which came with the spline adapter, were perfect when placed in combination with this one and a half inch spacer. But getting it installed was tricky. I used some vice grips to help me compress the first spring washer, and I sped this clip up a little uh, but if you follow the same choice I did, just know that it can be a little tough to get the space in position, but it does work well. I'm now ready to put the C-clip back onto the pin using some needle nose pliers. And finally I can install the mini floor board onto the spline adapter. It comes with the cap screws and a washer, but you'll need to have a hex wrench to tighten it all up. I'm choosing to use the middle mount hole at this time but I like that I can change my mind lighter on if needed. And here's the end result. The spring washers have good tension so that the floorboard will stay folded up if desired. Thanks for watching.